Good morning, Rose Fellows and Rose Fellows. It is Candace Rose, and today's video is part four of what I eat in a day on keto. This is my food vlog, and I'm honestly on a roll this week, so I might just finish off the week doing these food vlogs. I don't know if I'm gonna do next week, but I'm definitely gonna finish off this week. Now, today, yet again, I did not have time to cook breakfast. And I think the reason why I, I'm not having time to cook breakfast is because by the time, like I'm doing intermittent fasting. So by the time it's time for me to actually eat a meal, it's time for me to leave to go to work and I just don't have time to cook anything and I like to have hot breakfasts. I don't like to really cook breakfasts. Cook cook breakfasts. Is that even a freaking word? I don't really like cooking breakfast and then have to reheat it if that makes any sense. Um, I just like to cook it and eat it hot and fresh. So by the time I'm done fasting it's time for me to leave and go to work. So I have to grab something. I'm either fasting or I'm grabbing something. So today I am going to grab breakfast because I wanted to show you guys a complete full meal. So I did fast and it is about time for me to eat right now. I think my last meal was at, I wanna say at seven-ish, like in the seven, 7 p.m. hour. So around 11, it's time for me to eat. I do like the eight, what is it? The eight to 16 or something like that? I, I don't know how it is. Well, I fast for 16 hours, basically, in a nutshell. So I am gonna go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get the egg bites, the bacon egg bites, because they're lower in carbs than the other two options. So I'm going to have that for breakfast. And I did make some bacon. I, I did have enough time to make some bacon before I left the house. So I am on my way to Starbucks right now. Actually, I just pulled up at Starbucks. So yeah, so let's go grab some breakfast. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me today. I'm like in a piss poor mood. I was irritated late last night and it kind of carried over into this morning and then I got irritated all over again this morning. So I'm a little bit annoyed I don't know what the heck, I don't know. But I'm not going to let that affect my day. I'm starting to become, I'm trying to train my brain and my spirit to become more positive and whatever, or whatever negativity that comes my way, I try to transfer that energy or, you know, change that ener energy into something positive. So. I don't know. I am a bit annoyed today. I know this is like, has nothing to do with the video at hand, but it kind of does because anytime I'm annoyed or feeling stressed or depressed, I start to stress eat. I start to emotionally eat and that can equal to making poor food decisions. So yeah, I am annoyed. I'm going to try to change that energy into something positive. I don't want to be negative today. So help me to become positive. Okay. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. All right, Rose Petals and Rose Fellows. So this is my breakfast. I got the side of bacon, and then I also have the I have the bacon and cheese egg bites. I can't pronounce the name of the cheese. It's like some fancy cheese to start with a G, but this is it. And honestly, like I could have more of the egg bites, like because they're like kind of small i can honestly take down four of them but you know that's just me being greedy and if they were not so high in carbs and net carbs i actually could eat eat more of them but since it's nine net carbs i'm not gonna do that obviously so this is the breakfast and obviously the bacon it does not have any net carbs so yeah this is my breakfast for the day for lunch yes you guessed it i got another salad but i got this from kroger salad bar and i only put like a little bit of everything i didn't know d on the toppings 
and everything all together was about this eight net carbs but this salad i don't know i don't know if it's the dressing but it tastes a little bit sketch so i may not even eat this whole thing i don't know i'm gonna try it hit a lot different than them doggone piata salad <clears throat> Them things hit a whole lot different than the piata salads i can tell you but i did not feel like spending twenty dollars on the salad today so i got this one so i don't know oh now i am excited about this hint water i see the advertisement on these waters all the time and i tried one of them i think it was like the watermelon kind and it was actually pretty good so i'm going to try the pineapple this has no carbs, no nothing. It's just water, and it's just infused with um, pineapple. So, having this as well. So, I go to check the oven to make sure nothing is in there before I put my salmon in. And look what I find. Pizza. Who ordered pizza? Mm. I'm just smelling it. I ain't touching it. Willpower, people. All right, and last but not least, I am having roasted salmon with an avocado salsa, and then I'm having seven of these rinky-dink-ass asparagus. The salmon is one net carb, and the asparagus is two, so all together, this whole meal is three net carbs. I cannot wait to come home to make this. I love salmon. I think salmon is like my favorite fish. So, yep. This is dinner. This is my last meal of the day. And I'm having a glass or four of Pinot Grigio on the side. Now, Pinot Grigio is keto friendly. Some brands have zero net carbs and some of them are a little bit higher in net carbs. I think the most that I saw was maybe, it was like five to seven. This particular Pinot Grigio that I have has zero net carbs, so I can drink the bottle if I want to, and I won't be getting any carbs out of it. And yes, honey, this is what I'm having on the side. Now, y'all know I'm bougetto, so white wines always go good with fish, honey. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Open up. Open up. The salmon is cooked to perfection. I hate overcooked salmon. It's just as tender as it want to be. We should be closer than friends If you OPN And take that hot road and hop in Open up all right, so let's take a look at our carb app for today. As you can see, I consumed 20 out of the 24 net carbs. And I also stayed under everything. I stayed under my fat intake, my protein, and calorie intake. And this is everything that I ate today, including that trash ass salad. <laughs> that salad was terrible. And you know my favorite part, confetti, please. Thank you. So today was a really, really good day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one.